is an important topic. Uh, of course, it has national security implications, but also uh, we are pondering whether the recommendations made by the reports uh, that we are discussing here today, uh, whether they could impact some of the core elements of, of NASA's mission. Now, also, I have to say that the public is really looking to us to find the right balance, and we heard that, that word this morning, balance, uh, quite a, a lot. Uh, between, of course, keeping our country safe and protecting sensitive research and data, uh, maintaining our country's leadership role, but, but also uh, understanding that uh, there is an important uh, importance in NASA publicly disseminating the results of research and the scope of its scientific activities. I have to say that that is important for many reasons, but especially to help educate the public about the benefits of, of NASA's work. So it is finding that right balance. I do want to point out that, um, Dr. Webster, you uh, said in your testimony that uh, NASA pro provided complete cooperation for this review, and NASA interviewees were candid, cooperative, and eager to offer both suggestions and be involved in problem solving. And I just wanted to point that out, that you recognized that when you did your assessment, uh, and, and, th and that is so important. You know, we, we, um, we look at the report from the uh, NAPA, National Academy of Public Administration, and they acknowledge that foreign national participation in NASA programs and projects is an inherent and essential element in NASA operations. So considering the implications that the OIG and the NAPA reports have on these areas, uh, I am interested in whether our witnesses see uh, any potential to improve uh, international collaboration um, through the recommendations of these reports, if they are all implemented, might there be a possibility that international collaboration is improved? And if you just want to each s s state briefly whether you agree that there is any potential there. I think the thoughtful recommendations uh, from all three of the re reports that we are talking about here this morning offer the opportunity for NASA to strengthen its foreign national uh, participation uh, by having clear guidance, uh, by assigning uh, roles and responsibilities that everyone understands and complies with, we, we sort of make it easier for uh, involving foreign nationals as appropriate in our, in our research. Does anyone disagree with that, Ms. Martin? Um, no, I would, would agree that um, th it is not an either-or, and, and obviously uh, foreign participation international agreements are important to NASA's work, as Mr. Keegan and others have said, but it is important to have those clear policies and procedures, and we think that risk-based approach to compliance is, is really one way that can help NASA with that balance. Ms. Robinson and Dr. Webster, do you, do you agree with? Yes. Uh, I, I do as well. I believe it is, is a risk-based approach, and it's, it's, it is a balancing act. I mean, you can, you can obviously have more collaboration by ignoring security, but there is a cost to be, be paid for that. Right. And, and thank you. I want to follow up on questions that were, were just asked. Uh, it, it seems, listening to the testimony and reviewing what you have submitted, that the core problems uh, described in the reports are because individual NASA employees did not appropriately follow existing policies or procedures. So I want to start with Mr. Keegan. Do you see that as uh, uh, resulting from inadequate training, ineffective organizational structure, uh, or a lack of resources, or some of each? I, I think that it is a combination. Uh, and I, we are taking action. We, one of the earlier reports uh, mentioned that the, there was confusion and, and bureaucracy in the implementation of these requirements. We are trying to address that through clarified policy, through clarified training. And also, we have detailed a full-time person who is a project engineer who can sort of put these export control requirements uh, in language and the training uh, sort of in terms of the process that flight project folks understand in terms of what their responsibilities are. So we think uh, there are improvements to be made in all three areas. And we are allocating, as we mentioned, as I mentioned in my opening statement, increased resources to this area as well. And I think the Foreign National Access Program will pull together, you know, the uh, coordination of the various elements of, in this uh, area of responsibility across the agency. And the recommendations that NASA is implementing, do you see those as realistic fixes? Once implemented, will they resolve the problems that were uh, brought to light by the uh, assessment? They are absolutely realistic fixes. 
and we hope they will address all the issues. Uh, but my 32 years at NASA, I have never seen a, a strong external review that has failed to identify some areas where we could continue to improve as well. Thank you. And I yield back the balance of my time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.